In this problem, we are given a function. In this case, it's a square root function. And we're being asked to find the inverse of that function and also the domain of that inverse function. We're given the domain of this square root function, so we don't have to figure that out for ourselves. And I, I think before we start talking about how to find the inverse and what the domain of that inverse is going to be, I want to make sure we have sort of a visualization of this. You know, the square root function, uh, the mother function, y equals the square root of x, would start at 0, 0, and make an arc like that. In this case, our leftmost point is 4. Uh, you know, anything under the radical sign can be 0 or above. So uh, it rules out lots of numbers. In this case, any numbers less than 4. So we're going to have a function that starts here and arcs off like that. And it goes on forever. Uh, going outward and ever more shallowly upward. So our domain is from 4 to infinity. What's the range of this function? Let's figure that out too. So the range, well, it starts at 0 because you can't have anything less than 0 under this square root symbol, and then we take the square root of it. So the smallest thing we could have there is 0. Uh, and it goes up. You can have as high a value as you want. So the range here is going to be from 0 up to infinity. OK, so there's the domain and the range for this function. I wanted to figure out the range for this function because when you take the inverse, the domain and the range switch places. Taking the inverse of a function is like flipping the x and the y values. To find the actual inverse function, we're going to replace f of x with y in the original function and write this as y equals 5x minus 20. Then we do what I call pulling the switcheroo. We swap the x and the y. So we get x out here, and we get the square root of 5y minus 20. And then we need to solve for y. Well, y is under a square root uh, sign, so I'm going to square both sides. So I get x squared over here. And over here, the squaring just undoes the square root. So I get 5y minus 20. <clears throat> and then to solve for y, I need to add 20 to both sides. So I'm going to get x squared plus 20 equals 5y. And then I just divide by 5. And I'm going to rewrite this the other direction. I'm going to get y equals x squared over 5 plus well, 20 over 5 is 4. So this is my inverse function. So I can say f inverse of x equals x squared over 5 plus 4. So that's the first part of my answer. Now they also want the domain. And as I mentioned before, the domain and the range swap when we take an inverse. So the domain of this function right here is the range of the other. So our domain is just from 0 up to infinity. So that is a little bit of work with inverse functions.